There is one magical haunted evening each year when all the scary creatures come out at night to prowl through each neighborhood. But here is the scariest monster of all. Do you know why? This little wizard doesn't know it, but he is taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Maybe badly hurt. His costume is very, very dangerous. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? What about that mask? He can hardly see through those tiny holes for his eyes. If you were wearing that mask, here's what it would be like. You can see straight in front of you, but unless you happen to turn your head, you wouldn't see that car coming as you are starting to cross the street. You could be run over, and unless you look down, you can't see that you're coming to a curb. Ow! That hurts! It's bad enough to take a tumble on hard pavement, but it would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of an oncoming car. Now, let's imagine that we're in that car. Can you see him clearly? Why not? What is there about his costume that makes it hard to see him? As the driver of a car or truck, you might not see him until it's too late. And that's really scary. Before we think about some ways that the little wizard can see and be seen better, let's take another look at his costume. Whoops! Down he goes again. It seems as if he's collecting more bumps and bruises than candy tonight. Let's see if we can help him, shall we? By helping him, maybe we can learn some things that will help you stay safe at Halloween. First, we need to turn back the clock and start this whole evening over again. One of the problems with this costume is that it's too long. It's too easy to trip over the long full robe. So we can shorten the robe. You should always shorten any skirt, pants, slacks or cape that is too long or floppy. Now, the staff. It's a clumsy thing to carry and it's something you're likely to trip over in the dark. It's usually easy to shorten staffs or round off sharp points of pirate swords or other costume parts that could trip you or scratch you. But it's safest not to carry anything like that in the first place. I know, not as fun. Now, what else could we change on this costume to make it safer? What about the color? Remember how hard it was to see the little wizard because of his dark costume on a dark night? You should always wear light, bright colors on the street at night so drivers can see us. What about this color? A white costume makes an unusual, different kind of wizard who's more likely to be safe on Halloween night. And one who's ready to clean your house, eh? <laughs> We can improve the mask by cutting larger holes to look out of. There, that's better. But there is an even safer way. You can simply not wear a mask. Oh, you think you need a mask to disguise yourself? Well, just watch what you can do. With a little help from your parents and some scraps of cloth or old clothes from around home, an eyebrow pencil, different colors of eyeshadow, rouge, lipstick, an old mop or wig, some wax teeth, maybe some clay and food coloring, and a few other odds and ends. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. Whether you buy a costume or make your own, make sure it is made of flame retardant material. That means material that won't catch on fire easily.
Now our little wizard has turned into a beautiful princess, and his new costume is much safer. But there are a few other things you should do before going out. First, eat a big dinner. If you go trick or treating while you're hungry, you'll be tempted to sample some of your treats while you're out and about, and that's definitely not a good idea. Keep an eye on the clock. In many places, police set the hours you should go trick or treating. Trick or treat only within those times. Neighbors should be ready with treats for you, and drivers should be more careful to watch for you during these hours. Make sure you carry a flashlight when you go. The light will not only help you see in the dark, but it will also make it easier for others, including drivers, to see you. Always travel with a group, not alone. It's safer still to have a parent along to keep an eye on things, and of course, you should always walk. Riding a bicycle at night is always dangerous, but it's even more dangerous to try and ride in a costume at night. As you go from house to house, stay on the sidewalks as much as possible. If you have to walk in an area where there are no sidewalks, walk as far off the roadway as possible and face the traffic. That way, you can see what's coming and get out of the way if you have to. Cross streets only at brightly lighted corners, not in the middle of the block, and never between two parked cars. When you start across the street. Cross quickly, but don't run, and don't stop in the middle of the street for any reason. Stay in your own neighborhood while you're trick or treating. Your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in a costume on Halloween, and it's safest to visit people you know. If you don't know the people very well, then don't go into their homes. Most people enjoy having trick or treaters come to their doors, but there are a few people that will do things to hurt kids. They might put sharp or hard objects in candy and apples, or they might put something on fruit or gum that will make you sick if you eat it. To be completely safe, save your treats until you get home. Then ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure there is nothing in them or on them that could hurt you. The safest treats are usually candy gum that come in their own wrappers from the factory. Fruit should always be washed before you eat it. And all candy bars and fruit should be cut open to make sure there is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt you. If you're not sure whether something is safe or not, don't take any chances and throw it away. I know it's hard, but let's get back to the fun part of Halloween with the princess and her friends. Almost everyone enjoys a good joke or riddle. What's your trick? What's a ghost eat for breakfast? What? Ghost toasties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's a wiener when you take out its insides? A hollow wiener. Where does Dracula keep his money? In a blood bank. <laughs> Here, have some candy. However, some practical jokes and pranks aren't so funny. If you should break something, it wouldn't be very funny to the owners or to your parents who might have to pay for it. So keep your jokes funny and harmless. Tonight has been a magical night. We saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. How about you? Will you follow the lead of the little princess and have a safe and super Halloween this year? <laughs>